Text objects in SCHR and D have an origin, which is shown only when the text meter layer is visible. Normally, the origin is in the lower left corner of the text. The bounding box of the text is automatically adjusted to the actual size of the text. Text size is determined by the font properties of the pen used for the text. Most notably, the font height determines the overall height of the text object. Changing the height will change the width and will adjust the bounding box. Text objects are normally start aligned, which means they start at the origin and grow to the right as long as they need to. Adding more to the text string will grow the text object to the right, while the origin on the bottom left stays in place. The same rules apply when shrinking text. The origin stays in place and the bounding box is adjusted. When a text object is horizontally mirrored, the pixels of the render won't mirror, but the origin is moved to the bottom right corner. The text object is still start aligned, which means the origin stays in place, so the mirrored text needs to grow to or shrink from the left. In more general terms, if the text object is start aligned horizontally, it will always start at the origin and grow away from the origin. The direction of growth depends on horizontal mirroring and rotation. If the has B box property of the text object is set, the text becomes bounding box specified and will behave differently. It will preserve its bounding box and will resize the text as needed to fit the box. After the initial switch, the text size doesn't change because the bounding box was calculated to perfectly fit the text, both horizontally and vertically. If the text gets shorter, it becomes narrower than the bounding box. SCHR and D cannot resize it to use a larger font because that would violate the static bounding box requirement vertically. As long as the text is start aligned, the remaining empty space is allocated at the end of the text. How the remaining empty space is allocated can be changed using the horizontal align property. Start means the text starts at the origin. Center will split excess space in half to place them on both sides. End means the text ends at the other end of the bounding box. Word justify and justify will spread the space in small portions between words or letters. If the text gets longer than the bounding box, it no longer fits in the horizontal direction and SCHR and D will use a smaller font until it fits again. Since there's no excess room horizontally, H align is ignored. The horizontal align property is interpreted together with the horizontal mirror property. For example, a mirrored bounding box specified text with the alignment set to end will be anchored to the left side of the bounding box, even though the origin is on the right side. When mirrored again, it is anchored to the right side of the bounding box because the origin is on the left now. Bounding box specified text is used when it is important that a text object does not extend beyond a specified area, even if the user edits it to a much longer text. This feature is common when the text object is within a box, for example in a title block or symbol body.